Okay, this video is gonna be part two of the review for the parabolas and long division test. All right, so now let's take a look at question nine. So in this one, you're supposed to take the information that's provided and write the equation. So in this first one, you're given the vertex and you're given the focus, all right? So the first thing we need to consider is finding the four P, all right? The equation that we're looking for is either x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k if it's vertical, or y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h. And, and that squared should not be on there, actually. And again, this one represents our horizontal parabola. All right, so in this first number nine, you're given a vertex of negative two, negative nine, and you're given a focus of negative two, negative 359 fortieths. Okay, well, we know it's vertical, all right, because we can actually see that the vertex, you see that the x value is what stays the same, negative nine, negative nine. It's the y value that changes, so it's changing vertically, okay? But we need to figure out what the p is, and that's the distance from the vertex to the focus. So if you're given the vertex and the focus, you can actually subtract the vertex from the focus. So we have and the, the numbers that change. So negative 359 over 40 minus the negative 9. So here you can see I've worked that out and I got 1 40th. So 4p equals p, which is 1 40th times 4 which is one-tenth. So I know that this information gives me a 4p of one-tenth. And it is positive, which it needs to be because it's a vertical. Um, well, not only vertical, but it, now we know that it opens up, okay? So uh, the vertex is here, so x minus h squared. Our h is our negative two, so it's x plus two squared equals one-tenth. And then y minus k, our k is negative nine, so y plus nine. So that is the equation that you get from this information. All right, now let's take a look at another example. So here we're looking at number 13. Now we've been given the vertex at negative five zero and the focus is at negative 19 fourths zero. So you can see here the X value is what's changed from the vertex to the focus. So we know it's horizontal. Now I don't know if it's gonna open left or right yet, but I need to find the P, all right? So the way to find the P when you're given the vertex and the focus is to subtract the vertex from the focus. So we have negative 19 over four minus negative five. That's negative 19 over four plus 20 over four, which is the same as five, minus a negative is plus. So now we have negative 19 fourths plus 20 fourths, which equals one fourth. So P is one fourth. If we need to know four P, we just multiply times four, and one fourth times four is one, okay? So our equation has a 4p of 1, and we're using this one here. So y minus k squared, well, k is 0, so it's just going to be y squared equals, and then x minus h, or 4p, which is 1, times x minus h. Uh, and h is negative 5, so it's going to be x plus 5. So this is the equation you get from this information. Okay, now let's take a look at number 17. Um, you are given the vertex, but now you're not given the focus. You're given the directrix, okay? Now, the vertex to the directrix will still be the p-value. However, it's not – be careful with your positive and negatives because the parabola does not open up to the directrix. It opens away from the directrix towards uh, the focus. But if you're given the vertex, then you have your h and k for your equation, but – you still need to find the 4p. On this one, it shows you that the directrix is y equals 5 fourths. That means our y value has changed from the vertex to the directrix. That means we know it's vertical. We just need to determine if it opens up or down by finding p and then 4p. Well, to find p, if you're given the vertex and the directrix, you would actually subtract the directrix from the vertex or the numbers that change. So we have a one is the y value of the vertex minus the y value of five fourths, which represents 
represents the directrix. And 1 minus 5 fourths, well, that's just 4 fourths minus 5 fourths, which is negative 1 fourth or a negative a quarter. Well, if that's P, then we multiply times 4, and we get negative 1. So in our equation, our 4P is going to be negative 1. So you see the negative here. And then we have to just fill in the X minus H squared. Well, H was negative 3, so it's X plus 3 squared equals y minus k, k is a 1, so y minus 1. And that's the equation from this information. Now let's take a look at some examples on another page. All right, so here we're taking a look at uh, number 21. Again, you're asked to write the equation from the given information. You're given the focus at negative 37 fourths, 9, and you're given the directrix at x equals negative 35 fourths. Okay, well, if the directrix is x equals a number, then we know that what's changed is the x value. So the parabola is horizontal. It's either going to open left or right, depending on the p value, okay? So the best way, I think, sometimes to work these out when you're given the focus and the directrix is to find the midpoint between those two numbers so that you can find the vertex. Now the vertex is definitely going to include a y value of 9 because the focus does. All right, But remember our focus is moving left to right. The x value is what's changing. So let's find the midpoint between the x value of the focus and the x value of the directrix, which is, which is the directrix, negative 35 fourths. So I'm going to add negative 37 fourths plus negative 35 fourths, and then I'm going to divide by 2. That's how we find the midpoint. So we have uh, negative 72 over 4 divided by 2, which is the same as multiplying by half, and that equals negative 72 over 8, which is negative 9. So what I know is my vertex is at negative 9, 9. So now if you want to find the foc or the p, the value of p, and you have the focus and the vertex, then you could subtract the vertex from the focus. So we have negative 37 fourths minus negative 9. It's the x values that we're looking at. So negative 37 fourths minus negative 9. That's the same as negative 37 fourths plus 36 fourths, and you get negative 1 fourth for the p-value. And then if you need to know 4p for the equation, you multiply times 4 and you get negative 1. All right? And again, we know this is horizontal. And now we know it's opening left and 4p is negative 1. So we have y minus k squared. The k of the vertex is 9. So y minus 9 squared equals 4p, which is negative 1, which we determined, times x minus h. And H is, uh, H is negative 9 of the vertex, so it's X plus 9. And that's the equation from this information. Okay, now let's take a look at number 24. Okay, same thing. We're looking to write an equation, either uh, X minus H squared equals 4P times Y minus K. If it's vertical... Or, if it's horizontal, it'll be y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h. Okay? Again, we're given the focus, and we're given the directrix. If the directrix is y equals 59 twelfths, then we know that the y value is what's changing, so we know it's a vertical parabola. All right? Um, we also, uh, but what we, what we need now is we need to know the 4p, and we need to know the vertex. So let's go ahead and start by finding the midpoint of these two y values. And that would give us the y value of the vertex. We already know the x value is negative 10. We need to find the y value. So we do 61 twelfths plus 59 twelfths. It gets us 120 twelfths. We need to divide that by 2. So we multiply by 1 half and we get 5. So we know the vertex is at negative 10, 5. Now, to find P, when you have the focus and the vertex, you subtract the vertex from the focus. So 61 twelfths minus 5. 
uh, is going to be 61 twelfths minus 60 twelfths, which is 1 twelfth, okay? And if P is 1 twelfth, you multiply that by 4, of course, to get 4P, and you're going to end up with 1 third. And 1 third will be part of your equation. Now, we know it's vertical. We also know it's positive. So we're going with this equation here, x minus h squared. The h is negative 10. Minus a negative 10 is plus 10. So x plus 10 squared equals 4p, which we know is 1 third times y minus k. k is a positive 5, so it is y minus 5. That is the equation from this information. All right.